everybody! Welcome to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Let's Play episode... I don't even remember. And I don't remember because the craziest thing happened. Um, I recorded this whole episode already, but I lost all the video, but saved all the changes here in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, so we're going to do it a little bit different today. We're going to go through what changes I did, I'll show it to you, uh, we'll ride some rides, and it'll be a shorter episode. So we're loading in here, and uh, so let me tell you what it did. So... Uh, my laptop that I record on is getting kind of old, and I live in North Carolina. We have the craziest weather. Last week, on Tuesday, it was 15 degrees, and by Friday, it was 70. And, um, well, when we get 70 and above, I, the, the room that my computer is gets really hot, which when it was like 85 here. And, uh, yeah, I kind of left my laptop running for a really long time, and then I started recording, and it got really hot up here. And... I didn't think to turn my external fan on, which I do during the summer months, because it's winter, uh, even though we were having summer weather. And so I totally crashed my computer and lost all the video that I was just about done recording. All right, so the first big change, as you saw, was that I did finally decide to put in this um, tram system that goes all the way around the park. And the reason I did that was, uh, well... So I put in the rest of kind of a few more pieces to our paths, and I realized that it was taking people forever to get to our rides that were further away. So we really did need the tram system. Um, so there's that. And it goes across, and it goes near our pond. It doesn't go through it. It doesn't disturb our row boaters. Um, so I have three terminals in the park. So I got one over here, one by the front entrance, and then one on this other side of the park. So I think that's enough. And then, if necessary, I can change it as we go. All right. The other big change, which was the majority of our episode, was that I built a fortress up here. So I actually widened our log flume so that it's further over towards the edge of the park. And then I added this building. And so the ride actually goes through it. And I even got some cannons rolling on with our pirate ship down here. We actually have a couple pirate ships, and I've moved their location. Um, so that's probably the biggest change that took a while. So um, let's actually, in a minute, we'll go ride this ride when this boat starts. But we don't, we don't want to start halfway through yet um, because that's no fun. So I still am calling this the Pirate Park, and we, I don't know the name. I guess it works, but. It's still not my favorite, but I just, no matter what, I, everything I come up with is really cheesy. Um, I mean, like, really cheesy. You know, and generic. So somebody needs to help me come up with a really, really solid name. Um, what? I don't know. Oh, while we wait, I did go through and made the rides free because I have unlimited money, so it seems silly to start charging people. Um, so that was one of the other changes I made. I added some torches along some paths. I added these palm trees. So I did all this kind of little stuff uh, that, I don't know, that just takes five minutes here and ten minutes there and that we eventually would have done. But I just, you know, did in the last episode. All right, so we're off. Oh, no, we want to go on the forward one. Nope, not that one. Not th Wait, I changed rides. Why? I don't want to change rides. Why can't I get there? Alright. I want to ride that boat. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put it in this mode. There we go. Now I get on the train I want. Whoop, wrong way. Okay, I swear I'm going to get this. This is the one we want. Alright, we're at the beginning of the ride now. I don't know why I'm having such trouble with that. And we're going to go down... The, I did add this first hill. It wasn't there either. We It's kind of easy. Boring. Simple. Alright. So then we're going to go up. And see, now you've got this nice view as you're climbing. Even though it's kind of boring, the peeps have something to look at. So I really like the uh, our, our fortress... Um, I do think the back side of it is kind of plain, and I want to add something, but I haven't decided what yet, so for now it's just staying. It's kind of limited room to work with, otherwise I would have had four towers instead of just those front two, and I think that's really what bugs me about missing it. 
Alright, so we go inside. And then we're gonna come around the bend. Yep. So exciting. This is gonna be one of the most boring rides in the game. I mean, seriously. They're just it's not exciting, except for right there. We do that little lip. And at least we have enough speed that we get up that section pretty quickly, which I like, but you know, we should look and see what the excitement rating is. It can't be very high on this, I imagine. That being said, if I were to go to an amusement park, I'd probably love this ride. Well, that's probably because I get wet, and I love getting wet. I don't know why. I love raging rapid rides, too. There's some of my favorites. I like roller coasters, but I actually have this fear of falling, so height doesn't bother me, but falling does. So the only reason I can even do roller coasters is, uh, because I'm so tightly strapped in. If I'm at all insecure, um, I can't do roller coasters. But upside down, big drops, none of that bothers me, but the falling, that first big drop, usually, once I get through that, I'm good. Um, I don't generally do well waiting for long periods of time for a new ride. Okay, so we did that. Oh, I did add this little arch here, which I haven't decided if I liked yet. Kind of, I don't know. I thought for a second it was sitting up off the ground, but I guess it's not. I wish I could create, like, a whole building to cover this, but when I played around with it, it was kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, you guys, let's ride this ride. Here we go. Um, eh, nah, we'll stay with this view. There we go. I'll zoom all the way in so we don't have that peep's head in our way. So this is our Raging Rapids. I really do love these too. These are some, are some of my favorite rides. Um, I love it when in real amusement parks you get like caught up in these sections with other boats and they pass you and it becomes a race that you can't control. Whee! This is actually making me kind of dizzy. I wonder if it's making any of you dizzy. I think it makes me more dizzy than like actual rides do. So I thought about trying to put some stuff in this section here, cover up some of those pylons, but at least the pylons are themed too. Um, I decided, but... I like the look of this ride when you're on it, but I don't like the look of the ride as far as the entire park goes. And then we're... Are we back at the start after this? No, I don't think so. I think we go up for a while, which I can't turn for us to see. And then I think we go, like, one more drop. Um, I still have not named any of these rides. I didn't get to that last episode either. I, again, like, all the names I come up with are cheesy, and I think it's okay to go with cheesy names as far as the rides go, but I really want something better for the park other than Pirate Park. Maybe. Maybe I'll just, buy, like, call it Pirate Park so much that I won't be able to change it by the time I come up with a good idea. We'll see. Um, other things you missed? Oh, I did flatten the pond over by the log flume ride that we just did. Um, I took all this the water out and flattened it. It made absolutely no difference to the way it looks, but it just bugged me that it wasn't quite right. And I added a lighthouse to the paddle pond, but really I think that's everything. I think that covers that whole, like, 30 minutes pretty darn well. Um, and I'm sorry you missed the building of my structure, uh, castle, but I promise you, you missed a whole lot of me saying, Oh, that doesn't work. Let's delete it. Oh, that works. Keep it. Oh, that doesn't work. Delete it. You know, because I, I had to make it work with the, the log flips. There was a lot of playing around with it. But we'll build some more structures. I really enjoyed building it, so... Are we still on this, the, the first round of this ride? I feel like we did this before. Oh, no, maybe not. Here comes the end. Whee! It slows down. Just in time, we're coming back to the beginning, so let's go ahead and get out of here. Alright, see that was us right there. Alright, so, other than that, just the tram. I don't think you want to ride the tram. We can for a second if you guys really want to see. It's really quite boring. You just kind of sit in the tram, and it doesn't do a whole lot. Oh, wrong way. So, yeah, that's the tram ride. Nothing terribly exciting. There are three cars 
think. No, five, I think. Total. Oh, we haven't ridden the rowboats. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> look at the look at his face. He looks so miserable. <laughs> like it's so hard to row. <laughs> oh, that just cracks me up. But she looks pretty happy. All right, hold on. Let's go. Uh, let's go check out what he's thinking. What his mood is. Is his mood any even bad? All right. Where am I? Over here. All right. These kids right here. Let's see. He is hungry and thirsty, but he's quite happy, and despite his, uh, the look on his face. Hey, look, there's a shark. I didn't put that in there, just so you know. That just appeared. Oop. There we go. Look it. I didn't put that in there. It's not something I can remove. It's actually kind of sweet. Uh, I wonder. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah. So, other things that we need to work on. Um, I want to add more scenery. I want to build a roller coaster, but I have not decided what coaster. Um, I was going to build, like, a mouse coaster over here in this section, but every time I... I did play with building those in the last one, and they just were not coming out very well. Um, I don't know. They just they didn't seem exciting or fantastic and... Um, then I thought, what I had a thought last night was to add one of these dizzy droppers there. So maybe we'll do that real quick. To say we accomplished something in this episode. I also thought about putting it, this dizzy dropper, like, back here. Or, like, here. Because it's a pretty up and down ride. But, uh, we'll leave it here. Alright, so we need some cues, and then... Nope, wrong one. That's not what I want. Where is the... There's a button that lets you go up and down. I swear I did this yesterday. Because, oh, you click the chain button. Alright. So maybe I'm not with it again today, but that'd be normal. Oh, wait. And then you do vertical track. There we go. To make it look really cool. So we can make it really tall. Ooh, that might be too tall. Let's go back down. There we go. Alright, so then... There we go. Cap it off. Alright. So then let's go straight out. And... Nope. Yeah. This is fun to me. Just going, kind of doing this crazy dizzy thing. And there are like some smaller loops. And... Kind of these weird down pieces. But see how big they are? Like, you'd have to build it so tall. And it's pretty tall compared to most coasters in the game. Um. So, oh, didn't want to click that. I was just looking through them. Alright, let's do a little one. And another. Uh, where's the button? Little one. Let's do a bunch of these little ones real quick. And they get faster and faster because they get closer and closer together. Oh, look. It's kind of like a, 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 a tornado. Where it gets... First you start really far. You know what? I just had a great idea. Back up. All right. We're not going to use the big ones at all. We're going to only use little ones. And it's going to look kind of like a twister or a tornado. So, yeah. We're going to use these small ones. Wait. Right. It's going to start really long. Hopefully this works. Hopefully I have enough to do it. There we go. Alright, so then it's slowly going to move in a little bit. And, oh, nope, I need one more try. Whoop. In a little bit. 
So slowly your turns are going to get closer and closer together. Oh, I like this idea. I like it a lot. See, see what I'm talking about with this twister look? Hopefully you get it. I think you get it. I think you guys are smart enough. Looks too much like a twister, though. I thought about calling it the hurricane, but... Alright. Yeah, then we got that tail like that, and then we can just... Should be pretty easy to f yeah, finish off. Yeah, so see, we have our twister. Maybe we'll call it the twister. Alright. Um, entrance here. Exit there. Why not? Alright, let's test it. <laughs> we have no idea if this is going to work. Because uh, I've only built one of these before. In this game. Um, I actually didn't know about them until a few days ago. I guess they it's always been there and I just never paid attention. Or uh, maybe I just didn't like it. Or maybe it had to be unlocked through scenarios and I never played that far in the scenarios in the past. I, I don't know. But um, it's kind of a cool concept and I would love to go on one of these rides in real life. Uh, and we'll ride it at a later point. In fact, at, towards the end I'll make a whole video of just re-riding all the rides. But first got to make sure it works. And let's see what the, uh, where those test, there we go. When it's done, we'll see what the test results are. Oh, look, it gets so fast. Whoosh. All right, I'm wondering if I should put a, let's see what our speed is. Oop, no, that's force. One speed. 82 miles an hour. Average speed, 21 miles per hour. Last 46 seconds. I'm wondering if we should add, like, some brakes over here. Does it have a braking system? There we go. Yeah. All right. That should that should pull it down better. All right. Let's see if it works. All right. We're gonna have to ump the number of cars to as many as possible because why not? You know what? And then we can knock the price down while we wait on that one to go through. At least it doesn't last terribly long. See, it's not terribly hard to build. I know that there are other cool things you can do with it. Um, but generally, this is kind of the concept of the Dizzy Droppers. See, this one only does like two loops. This one has a weird squiggly line. That one I still have locked, apparently. I don't know. Sometimes things are just locked. Me. So this has a quite a long uh, coaster ride time compared to those other ones that were pre-made. Oh man, I'm so excited about that tornado look. We're going to name it the Twister. Wow, it still goes really fast. I wonder if I should be adding more brakes. Yeah, let's do that. And we're going to add brakes there. And we're going to add brakes there. There we go. All right, that should slow it down. Up to our number of cars, turned it to zero. Testing it one more time. Ooh, I also had the thought the other day that uh, we should have a fireworks display. And I was looking into some ones that other people had made. And I decided that I don't want to use a pre-made, that I want to build my own. So one of these days we'll do that. We'll do a display with the Mix Master. I also thought that maybe we would put some in the water with the, the fountain water show, whatever it's called. There's also a laser show. So, um, yeah. So I had lots of great ideas about that. I actually have very little experience with the Mix Master. Alright, I'm satisfied with this coaster. Let's, uh, let's add some area. It's a path, I mean. And that's what I'm trying to say here. You know, I'm not making a whole lot of sense. Yeah, I probably don't need that much um, pathway, but that's okay. Alright, we have our Dizzy Dropper. Which, oh right, I was going to rename. Where's that? I, oh, here we go. Dizzy Dropper 1. We're going to call it the Twister for now. Uh, let's add some music. I haven't done that with most of them. 
let's do <laughs> mermaid. I have no idea what this is. Select other. It's a pre-made pre-made track. I don't know. I didn't install it. Uh, I do like that I can put some custom music in this game. I should really get some and we should play some awesome music on some of our rides. Like some Pirates of the Caribbean style music. Like on our log flume or something. I don't know. Alright. Well, we're going to end that episode here. We're ending it a little short because I did a lot when I was in the first take of this episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And next time we will build lots more coasters and we will also ride the Dizzy Droppers. So see you guys then.